I'll be showing you how to install Arduino, how to install Mind's Eye libraries, as well as how to use some of the buttons in Arduino, and I'll give you a brief overview of what they do. So let's get started. If you have a thumb drive from Mind's Eye Robotics in one of your kits, just go ahead and open that thumb drive. It should have a folder um, with something like this in it. It should have some of the instruction manuals as well as the Arduino um, installer as well as the Mindside libraries and a little readme of text. If you don't have that, I'll show you right now how to go get that. Um, just minimize this. I'm just going to go to MindsEyeRobotics.com and MindsEyeRobotics.com. Click on the tab here, Programming Resources, and click on Download Arduino as well as Mindside Library. I should also mention too, just right off the bat, um, if this video is not up to date, you can always get the latest from Arduino by going to arduino.cc, going to download, and you can download the latest version right here. You can see they have 1.0.6, but they, all, they currently have 1.5.7 beta, which we'll be using a beta version here. And you can see the installer just right here. I'll just put this to the side because we don't need these. All right. So now to install it, just launch the installer, press run, and follow steps. Select the options you want. Select the location. All right. Then it's going to ask me to do install the driver. I'm going to install yes. And it usually takes a little bit of time. There we go, and now it's installed. I can close this out of this, and my Arduino is installed into on my computer. But we're not done just yet. I'm going to open up Arduino, and I'm going to show you where we install the Mind's Eye libraries. We can click on Sketch, Import Library. Add library, navigate to the folder where I just, um, where I have the Minds at Library saved on, which is right here, and open the zip file. Uh, and now at the bottom it says libraries added to your libraries. Check import library menu. And so now I can just go to import library, and at the very bottom I see um, that the Minds at Library is at the top. And now this will add the libraries in my sketch if I'm writing a default sketch but most of the time you'll be using examples which are right here also I, I should also show you right off the bat how to reinstall the library if you need to first off you'll have to find where your mind's eye library is located by going to preferences you can click on this first um, button right here we'll show you that my library is located on their documents Arduino so if I navigate to documents and I go to Arduino, I'll find my library, mine's a library right here. I can delete this library and then reinstall it the same way I just showed you. Alright, now that we know how to install the libraries, we'll go next to a few overview of the buttons. Um, first we'll pop open Arduino.cc. And we'll go to learning, getting started. Now I go to environment. If you have any questions with Arduino, Arduino.cc is always a great place to start. So if anything I don't cover in the video, feel free to go to the website and check it out. So let's take a look at a few of the things that Arduino contains. It says it contains a text editor, editor for writing code, a message area, text console, a toolbar with buttons for common um, functions. So for example, let's take a look. Where, for example, the text editor is this location here. All this area is where you can write your text and edit it, where you, you can write your code. Next, we have the message area. Well, just like this, that will show us brief messages of what's going on. Um, and then there's also a text console, which if I compile this set sketch, it will give you a message as well as display um, some text in this lower text console. And, you, and the, at the top, you can see there's a series of buttons and just your regular menus that you can use um, when you're using the program. Now, 
let's go over a few of these buttons and see what we can do. So the first button right here is verify. Verify, for example, checks your codes for errors. Next is upload, compiles your code, and it uploads it to the Arduino I.O. board. Um, next we have new, open, save, and also the serial monitor. Let me um, open a sketch and see what we can do with these. So first off, I'm going to open. Um, actually, I'm going to open one of the Mind's Eye examples. So I'm going to go examples, Mind's Eye calibration ping sensor. So now, now that I have this sketch open, I can save it. By pressing this button, I can also press file save or control s this is handy so now when I go to open you can see ping sensors right at the top you can also go to sketchbook and go to ping sensor now with ping sensor opened um, I can upload it Oh, see, COM port is 4, not available. Now what do I do? I go to port, COM port 5. Now it's done uploading. I can open the serial monitor and monitor what my ping sensor is saying. So that's a brief overview of the buttons on the top of the Arduino. Now I'll scroll through the menus. Oh, let's just click a new sketch. A new sketch creates a blank sketch. <clears throat> All right, now we'll go through these. So in file, um, most of this, these buttons are pretty simple and straightforward. A few things to note first are sketchbook, which shows you the current sketches or libraries that you have already in here, um, like ping sensors and this blank sketch that I created. Next I can go to examples and these show all the examples that I have in the library including all the ones that are included with Arduino as well as the Mind's Eye library that we added down below. Um, I should also mention here that the libraries that are included in Mind's Eye are calibration applications and projects. The calibration um, um, sample code are more are code oriented to testing the different sensors that are included in your Mind's Eye kit. For example, if I want to test the speed controller to check that it works, I would run the calibration ESC. Likewise, I would also do that for the ping sensor or QTI sensor, just to ensure that they're working. To test a, sam a simple application of the code, I'd run the application code of that um, sample code, like the ESC or QTI or ping sensor. And then for a more um, detailed and complicated program where that sensor is used, like the AUV code um, is where all the sensors like the ping sensor, ESC, um, they're all working together to program a robot to make it drive forward and avoid ob objects or obstacles. Um, and that's kind of a basic or overview of the Mind's Eye code. Um, as we covered examples, these are your basic settings here. And also preferences I covered earlier um, can be quite handy if you um, need to know where your library is located at. <clears throat> However, I seem to have lost my preference window. Here it is. So, if you open preferences, you can see where your Arduino files are going to save to. And you can also change that location, as well as some other preferences you may need to change. <clears throat> now, next in the edit menu, you see your basic functions cut and copy and paste. Um, as well as some formatting things like commenting and increasing and decreasing indents as well as finding um, uh, selection. Next in this, the sketch tool, um, we've kind of covered this with the import library where you can add um, libraries to your sketch. And it will also include at the top if you press a specific library. Um, you can also ver verify and compile here. Tools in the tools menu, um, the most common things you're going to use are going to be your board, selecting the 
the correct board you're using. You're, we, for this course, we will be using the Arduino Uno or the Arduino Leonardo. Next, in the port, um, you'll need to select the right COM port, which it seems to be is usually the next one up. So it's usually not COM1, it's usually COM5 or, or COM3 and above, <clears throat> depending on how many Arduinos you plug into your computer. Um, and that's pretty much it. Also, help menu um, gives you direct links to the website. So, just like that website I showed you earlier, getting started. Takes you right to Arduino.cc. And if you have any questions or help, you can go directly there. All right, well, I think that's all I have for you today. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment after the video or contact Mindside directly. Thanks, and see you later.